This is Cameron Buford here. We're at Susan De Laurentiis um, Oscar party, and one of the nominees here, or one of the honorees here, is Mr. Right. Aaron. Yeah. Pronounce your last name. I don't want to yeah. butcher. Oh, it. no problem, Cameron. The last name is Vinuk. Aaron Vinuk. Oh, that's easy enough. I should have got. I should at least tried it. Uh, <laughs> I'm short, but it is can be complicated. Yeah. Well, well, Aaron, um, you're not the typical filmmaker. No, uh, no. you're not the typical filmmaker. Talk to me about what's got you into film, or wanted to be a filmmaker. Sure, Cameron. Yeah, so there was last, the, when I, I have a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, and so I went blind when I was in my early 20s. Okay. So I was actually, when you said you were into sports, I was actually a pitcher. I had a trial for the Cincinnati oh, Reds. Oh, wow. And so it was on the mound when I wasn't able to see the catcher's signals anymore, mm. and so I knew something was wrong. I actually thought the catcher was uh, having fun with me, but <laughs> when he came out to the mound, I realized that he actually wasn't joking. I wasn't able to see his signs. Okay. That's when I was, you know, within a day, I went through a whole um, range of testing and found that I had retinitis nice pigmentosa. I got Jay Mom around talking to me about his foundation. Repeat that for the folks. Man, so yeah, I, I started the Jamal Brown Foundation, which our mission is to impact the lives of those who struggle with violence, poverty, and youth and undergo homelessness. That's fantastic, man. How are you doing that? How? I'm really just with partnerships. Okay. One thing I, I, uh, you know, I was brought up on teams. Okay. I mean, I was brought up with, with a group. It, it's how you get things done. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, really, just bringing awareness to different organizations that's already doing stuff. One thing I didn't want to do was try to reinvent the wheel. It's already, it's already been done. Yeah. So, just bringing awareness to different causes, different organizations that's already working in those areas. You know what I'm saying? So, made partnerships with I know back home in Louisville, um, Metro United Way, Family Scholar House, um, the, the Coalition for the Homeless. Those are all organizations that work work specifically with homeless. Okay. And, and between the ages of 16 to 24. Okay. I'm saying so. Back home in Louisville, um, there's about 800 new cases a year. Homelessness. Homelessness of that age. From 16 to 24 yeah. from that age group. So, um, you know, I've done things like fundraisers, golf scrambles to to raise awareness and raise funds. For those organizations to do what they do. Jamon, that's huge, man. I want you to tell the people one thing for me while I let you go. Tell the people that's what's good in sports. Hey, that's what's good in sports. Appreciate it, big fella. Yeah, man. Hey, fans, Cameron Buford here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Voice of the fans, HMB Media. Just want to wrap up the Los Angeles Chargers versus Miami Dolphins game today. Chargers came into this game one and six, two and six, excuse me. Miami Dolphins were five and three. Miami Dolphins ended up winning this game fairly convincingly, 29 to 21. They won it on special teams effort. They had a block punt. They had an interception. They ran the ball pretty well. And then Tua had two touchdown passes. So it was a pretty good game that they played all around, all the way around. And the Chargers, Herbert had a good game statistically, not his best game, but he still had three touchdowns, two running, uh, two passing, one running. So it, he, he set a record with that, but this is statistically was probably his worst game that he played thus far in the season. The Chargers have a lot of questions to answer. They still do. Jim Brown, I got the legendary Jim Brown. How you doing, Big Dog? I'm fine. How are you? I'm wonderful, man. Thank you for all the work that you've done over the years for our community. And we, we really appreciate that. Not myself, but we really appreciate that. About football, what do you think about this new helmet rule and how it's going to impact the game? What is the new rule? If the guys <laughs> lower their head, they're supposed to be getting caught up out. You ever heard that? You, well, you, you yeah, heard I've, I've been that? listening, but it's very confusing it, to me. It, it, right heavyweight yeah. and heavyweight yes. championship, correct. Uh, he could, he I got to get you with the left. That's, the right that's all, good. That's all good. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Tell me, okay, you, you shared it in a, you're a man who wears his most shirt. Yes. So you shared it with that meant to you in the ring. Right? Yes, I did. Tell me right now, a little bit, how we see yes. what it means to you today. So, I mean, you got to, you know, my story is a story of uh, building yourself back up. Okay, Earl well, Smith. What is she with your name? My name Cameron. is Cameron. Yeah. Los Angeles News Observer, big fan of yours. Um, you got a couple, go ahead. Um, that's some real questions, some basic general questions about identifying talent. And then how you as a coach kind of get the best out of talent. What's some of your well, couple of your Well, that's a big question. I don't know. <laughs> those, those take too long to answer. Those are, those are tough questions. That's what I want. Those are tough questions. I, I can't do a dissertation here. Okay. Uh, but I talked to you at the first one. Yeah. I talked to you about getting in the ring. Yeah. Any itch now? You talk about you feeling the emotion? You, you, you know, What's it's um, it, it's okay. It's one. It's I train with a lot of the guys, right? Okay. I mean, I, you know, three, four days a week. Yeah. Um, shout out Team Body Shop down there. Train with those guys. Okay. And 
they're just they're young, hungry animals, uh -huh. <laughs> and that's all they do. Make sure you guys also help me out. These positive stories, if you hear athletes giving back to the community, how they ingratiate themselves in the community, share that with me. Info at What's Good in Sports, because I like to just distribute those stories and make What's Good in Sports dot com be the go-to area for these positive stories again share those stories with me info at what's good in sports my name is cameron buford i look forward to receiving these stories again so i can share it out because far too often i believe these positive stories of athletes of what they're doing in their communities go unrecognized ignored and unheard of i like to change that hopefully you want to be a part of that and help me change that too thank you for your time once again cameron buford Info at What's Good in Sports. You can find my podcast, Voice of the Fans Podcast. I record it every week for you. Or you can find me here on LinkedIn, Cam Buford. Find my, hit me on Twitter, What's Good in Sport. The letter N, sports not plural. Voice of Fans on Instagram. And then check out my podcast. Subscribe to my podcast as well. Subscribe to my YouTube page as well. Voice of the Fans on YouTube. Every week we have fresh content for you. We have interviews for you that I'm conducting with athletes. And then I'm trying to just uncover these positive stories. So I appreciate your help in advance. And then as always, thank you for making our voice your choice. Hey, it's Peter Rosenberg. I'm hanging on my man Cameron Buford right here. I just want to say thank you for making our voice your choice.